Um, it's got a somewhat gloomy subject because it's about uh, the Third World War. It's about nuclear holocaust. So if anybody's got a weak stomach, you could leave now. I think he's just going for a piss. I think he's all right. He's coming back. Yeah, good man. <laughs> all right. So, well, the thing is that in 1957, just to tell you the story briefly, um, a committee of atomic scientists got together and they came up with the concept that is the doomsday clock. The idea being to provide a graphic portrayal of something for the rest of us to be able to look at and go, fuck me, that's scary. They said, they said if the clock ever strikes midnight, we're all dead, all of us. So if it had happened in 1961, which it bloody nearly did, if it hadn't been for that Russian broke in that submarine who refused to turn his key, although his two mates said, come on, let's blow the world to bits, he said, yet, and he refused to do it. That guy, I've forgotten his name. How could I possibly forget his name? Well, I did anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, they set the doomsday clock at 20 minutes to midnight in 1957. And this year, because they convene every year, they set it at 100 seconds to midnight. So they figured that we're that much closer to the catastrophe that we all stare in the face every day than we were in 1957. All right, I'll stop. I'm not preaching exactly. I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking. That's right. I'll stop talking. It's just that it's like really scary, isn't it? So if any of you are wandering or about, you know, New York, um, and you run into Joe Biden, in the street, so, you know. A, you should help, help see if he wants help across the road. But apart from that... Oh, thank you, Mrs. <laughs> I love, I love, I love to see love my jokes. Anyway, yeah, or you might whisper in his ears, Hey, Joe, let's stop sticking sharp noses up the leaders of other countries. I mean, sharp sticks. Because it's fucking dangerous. You know, this is really, really dangerous. And we could also say to him, hey Joe, I've got a really good idea. All the money that you pour down the drain, modernizing the nuclear arsenal that is huge that the United States has, why don't we spend it on the homeless, or baby formula, or educating our children, or the bloody roads? Almost anything but nuclear weapons.